Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science, a watch collection. Uh, today what we're going to do is take one last look at the 2018 SIHH show and what they had. Um, a friend of mine, Healer74, was there and he asked me, he said, well, what were the ones you'd pick? And I said, well, I don't know, I, uh, there are several that I like. He said, why don't you do a video on it? I said, okay, i tell you what, since he was there, I said, you pick three and I'll pick three and we'll have our favorite uh, six from the show. And so that's what we did. And here they are. Uh, first up is a Resonance Type 2 uh, E-Crown concept. Now, this was a watch that they had there, that, but they had the sort of the prototype for it. Still, just unbelievably cool. Second is the H. Moser Flying Hours. Third is a Mont Blanc 1858 Mono Pusher Chronograph. Fourth is the A. Langa Unzuna Saxonia Thin. The fifth one is Urek AMC. And finally is Zaza Lacutra Polaris Chronograph WT. WT for World Time. So let's, let's take a look at these uh, six picks for, that we had. All right, first up was the resonance. And... It's it's one of those things that's very hard to describe, and you, you really got to see it uh, in action. Uh, this is one that was Healer seventy four picked, and so I I was looking at it on the videos that they had, and this watch is just amazing. And uh, your the E Crown concept, E Crown is I think they call it that because you can get an app for it. Is that this is a mechanical watch too, a wind up. You, this watch, once you once you get it all wound up and set, so let's say it runs out. I mean, you have the time set. By the way, that little tab on the back is what it, the time is set with. And so there's an app you can get. You put in your mobile phone, and it'll <laughs> put it put it to the right time. A few years ago, uh, FP Jorn did that with the Elegant, uh, where the it was a quartz watch, so. And it would, it, it had a little thing that would turn off when you quit moving it and to save the battery. And then when you start it up again, it would go back to the right time. Uh, this is a similar uh, concept, but a very different, totally different technology. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is one of my favorite, the H. Moser C Flying Hours. Now, the way this works, it's got three discs underneath and then one in the center on top it looks like a sort of like so you have those those four discs total the lower three discs are the hours and the one on top is the minutes like right now uh when you you look at the sort of the lit up hour and that's uh 10 10 uh over to the right is uh it has 850 now how do they light up well that's pretty simple you've got you simply have a white uh, part of the dial underneath the number, and it'll light up. It'll, quote, like I said, light up. And uh, this is so cool. And so as there are three discs, and each one has four numbers for the three times four is 12. And so they they simply move, and then the, the hour, I mean the minute hand, moves around in the middle for the time. It's the coolest, coolest thing. Uh, I was talking to the uh, uh, the rep uh, for the United States, who is a Moser rep, and I said, "Well, you know, that's this is an unusual watch. I like it." I said, "Well, how did it do?" He said, "He said we sold out the first day." <laughs> it was so it's apparently extremely popular, and it's one that um, I, I've got my eye on. Love to have that watch. All right, the uh, the next one is uh this is another healer choice is a mont blanc 1858 mono pusher chronograph love the dial on this just this is the greatest dial it has a vintage green background and this light green uh numbers and then sort of a i guess the other numbers in the racetrack around it are in uh in a white now this has minerva 1321, 13.21 movement in it, and the original 1321 by Minerva is fairly famous movement. It was the uh, first 
chronograph uh, by Minerva. This is back. This goes back to uh, 1923. So <laughs> it's a it's it, it what it brings forward is a very high quality movement that they used to make at at another time to a lot of times I think a lot of people today think oh well they didn't start making good movements until we had all of this new technology that we added to it even though it was still a mechanical movement well that's not not exactly right there was some very very nice movements from uh, especially from a company like Minerva uh, that they had back then and looking at that thing that is beautiful the only problem with it is they only make it a hundred it's a limited edition and why I don't know. Uh, it's fairly expensive, twenty-eight thousand uh, euro. That's a lot, and it's a it's a, a stainless steel watch. But man, that's uh, that is so cool. And it's a mono pusher rather than having two buttons. So you're using it. It uh, works as a toggle. All right, and it's like I said, I love the looks of it. This next one is the A Langen Zuna. Saxonia Thin. This is this is a watch that I pick. Now, this is a watch that I pick for both men and women. It's a unisex watch, and unisex watches are are tricky. Uh, this one's thirty nine millimeters, and some people think, well, that's too big for a woman, maybe too small for some guys. I to me, it's just right size. I think it's a great size, and and I like the idea that. It's it's there a woman executive, you have you don't have the same kind of thing. On one hand, you know you put some uh, you know big old uh, Patek Philippe or something like that. Yeah, that those are fine. But a lot of times, well, I you, you go, if you ask for a woman's Patek Philippe, you're gonna still get one of those little things that are. Ah, uh, this one, this a Langunzuna. Saxonia Thin is just a classy watch that would work in an executive boardroom, I think, with anybody. And if you're a woman showing up, there, most men, hate to say this, they don't take women's, especially in their watches, too seriously. Like, wow, hey, you know, that's a cool watch. It's And then there's always, well, that's a that's a lady's style. Uh, this one is boom. Hey, this person knows what, what a good watch is like, and it doesn't matter whether they're a man or a woman. That's going to look good. And I think it's, it's either platinum or, or white gold, one of the two. And uh, on the back is the German silver, which is not German silver, it's not silver, I'll put it that way, but rather it's this combination of nickel and brass that uh, turn this dark yellow uh, when it's time to service them. And so, like a power reserve indicator with a little stick, this is a service reserve indicator that when it needs service, it turns this dark yellow. Now, this is true on all uh a Longanzuna watches, or actually any watches uh, that use untreated German silver. Uh, Patek Philippe, for example, has it, but they put a, a rhodium uh, finish on it so that it stays looking the same. Uh, so I, th I think that's sort of a cool watch. It's just it's just sort of a neat watch uh, for a guy could get it or a woman could get it, and they have a very cool watch. And um, that's one I'd like to have, too. All right, this next one, <laughs> this watch, uh, this is one of Healer uh, 74's choices. When I saw this thing, I thought, no. Nah. So I started reading about it. This, is under, this thing is like, I, it, I thank God for companies like Urek who will take a something that just is so mind-boggling, a mechanical watch that is, in effect, going to have an atomic clock on it somehow. And I'm not sure how. It's still in a conceptual stage. And, of course, there's, they don't have a price on it. i got a feeling it's not going to be <laughs> too inexpensive. 
But to put this into a mechanical watch, I think, is the neatest idea. And it, uh, an atomic watch. I mean, an atomic, I, I, I can't say atomic clock for some reason. I, I, I mean, what? I can't say atomic watch. I have to say atomic clock. And uh, it's called the AMC. And it's got something called the double vertical power. That was a name that they have on their power source and this is is really an amazing piece of horology and 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 sort of at a totally other different level but it's not a digital it, it's not a digital it's not a quartz it's a mechanical watch so this is going to be interesting to see what comes out of that all right finally uh, this was the last, I was thinking, I, I was really impressed by the Zsa Lacoutre uh, Polaris line of watches, uh, first of all. They're, they're sort of like saying, okay, here's a really affordable watch, uh, a high horology watch. That's one thing I like. And there's something, I think they start around $5,000, something like that. Not this particular one. But uh, this one, I think, is around 12 or so. This is a great, to me, a really fantastic uh, world timer, a travel watch. And it's a chronograph. And the, the kind of elements that make this up, you have, a, uh, you have the typical chronograph of uh, the two pushers that you find on chronograph but then you also have at about mm, 10 o'clock you have another dial there and that dial is um, is, is uh, sets around the bezel uh, you can set the where you where you want to have wh what city you want to have and I think that is just that's in and of itself very very cool uh, this is the blue dial. They have white and black also for different color dials. But uh, this one seemed, I always associate travel with with the blue because over the ocean and so forth. The uh, movement is a an automatic, a JLC 752A. Good, solid, you know, honest movement. All right. Well, uh, those are the ones that... Uh, he was 74 and I uh, liked. Uh, what I would urge you to do is to check these out online because I, I, I don't take that much time to really go into detail. And, and especially the Eurek and Arescence, uh, those two are really have a lot to go into. I think the Moser does too because I did the Moser. Just, Moser is one of those, an honest to goodness mechanical watch that does something that works right now <laughs> these other ones are are very nice i mean the they're just sort of in another place in the outer space the the eurek and the uh but look at them uh, there, there's some some little videos that they have and so forth but i, I think they're worth taking a look at okay well uh sunday we're going to have a review of a very interesting and a very affordable uh, collection, plus a little surprise that we're going to be giving away uh, when we have our uh, uh, Grand Prix Pick Contest. That'll start in June, so we we got a while on that. Uh, in the meantime, I would like to hear what your choices of all of the ones that you've seen from the 2018 uh, SIHA show, which ones do you like the best? You know, in the, in the comments section, say, hey, this is one I thought was the best. Uh, this is one I thought uh, you guys should have looked at a little more. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. All right. And um, until next time, uh, this is Bill Sanders with Watch Art Side, the art and science, a watch collection. And by the way, this is always an invitation to subscribe if you like. Hope to see you Sunday. Mm -hmm.